So in this question we need to complete the diagram showing where the light wave will travel after reflecting off the mirrors. So these are just my mirrors and I've got my reflective side which is like the flat side and that just shows it's the back with that kind of uh, whatever that line is called on there. Now um, this is really a test of your ability to measure angles and to draw straight lines with a pencil. So this is the kind of thing that um, you might not have in your pencil case. If you don't have one, just get one. They're incredibly useful and you will need it if you're doing any scale drawings. So um, what we know with reflection is that the angle of instance is equal to the angle of reflection. And to, to work this out, what I'm going to be doing is just measuring in this case the angle between the ray of light coming in, which is what this represents, and the mirror. So all I'm going to do is just carefully line this up. And what I can see is if I count from zero up to here, that's equal to 21 degrees. So here, that angle is 21 degrees. That means my angle of instance, if I was to measure it, would be the angle between the normal and this ray of light coming in, which would just be 90 minus 21, which is uh, 69. But for this, it's going to be easier to actually measure it uh, from that um, the mirror here. So if that's zero, this is 21 here. I'm just going to put a dot there and that's where the ray of light comes out to from this point. I can then get my ruler, or I could, I suppose, use the side of the protractor just to be a straight edge, and I then just connect up the two, like that. I put an arrow to show which way that ray of light has reflected, and then I'm going to do exactly the same and just work out this angle here, measure it on here, and then draw in the ray of light, like so. So to me that looks like 54 degrees, uh, going from there to there. So on this side I'm going from 0 up to 54, just marking on again in the same way, maybe a little cross just to make that a bit clearer, using my ruler, once again join up the, the line, but here it doesn't quite go all the way because it hits the mirror, and I'm just going to keep doing that. Now it does get a little bit messy over here, but I've taken my time to do it as accurately as possible, and then the ray of light just comes out like that. So this one here, um, again, it's not really a test of your physics knowledge apart from that I is equal to R, but it's really a test of your ability to you know, use a protractor and take your time to draw a scale drawing. So that's what happens when this ray of light is reflected off those mirrors.